The following program is intended for informational purposes only and not as a standalone training tool. Please refer to the Flexco website and other Flexco literature for detailed instructions. Prior to any work on your conveyors, make certain that the power has been turned off and that the belt is locked out. Follow other safety precautions outlined in the operator's manual and be sure to wear all recommended safety equipment prior to engaging in any belt maintenance procedure. Before installing a splice using the Alligator Ready Set Staple Fastener System, it is important to make sure both ends of the belt are square. For more information on recommended belt squaring procedures, please consult Flexco literature describing belt squaring techniques or the Flexco video entitled Correct Belt Squaring Procedures. Once the belt is squared, Installation requires only a few simple tools, including a hammer and a lightweight installation tool that can be easily carried from job to job. An Alligator Ready Set Toolkit is available containing everything you will need for Alligator Ready Set installation and comes complete in a lightweight, easy to carry toolbox. The installation tool secures the fasteners in proper alignment during installation and helps guide the staples as they are driven into the belt. To determine the correct fastener size, measure the belt thickness, as well as the diameter of the smallest pulley around which the belt wraps at least 90 degrees. Along with the belt's mechanical fastener rating, use the alligator staple reference charts displayed in Flexco literature to select the fastener size that corresponds to those measurements. When preparing a rough top belt, skive the rough top surface using the recommended Flexco skiving product. Be sure to consult Flexco literature for detailed instructions on proper skiving techniques. Once the belt top is squared and ready for fastener installation, place the belt end on top of a solid support surface. Now, position the fastener strip on the belt, taking care to center the strip equal distance from the outside belt edges. Be sure the side of the fastener displaying the alligator logo and the fastener size is facing up. Alligator staple fastener strips are available in strip lengths corresponding to most major belt widths from 100 millimeters to 1500 millimeters. Finding a fastener strip to match the width of your belt is easy. Be sure that the comb component of the installation tool is set to the size of the alligator ready set fastener you have selected. Once the fastener strip is positioned tightly against the belt end and with the cam levers of the installation tool in the up position, place the installation tool over the center of the fastener strip. Now, Lock down the cam levers to lock the installation tool in place over the belt and fasteners. Position the staple driver into the slots in the installation tool and strike it with a hammer. Be sure not to overdrive the staples. Drive the staples at the center of the belt first, followed by one belt edge, then the other, and then drive in the remaining fasteners. Properly installed staples will exhibit a crisscross pattern prior to setting the staples. Once the installation tool is removed, set the belt end on the alligator staple setting plate. Strike the top side of the fasteners and staples with firm hammer blows, moving back and forth across the fastener strip until the staples clinch. A properly set staple may cause a slight puckering in the belt along the edges of the staple. Avoid hitting the fastener loops during this procedure since that may make it difficult to thread the hinge pin through the joined fastener sections. Turn the belt over and inspect the underside of the fastener to be sure the staples are properly clinched. With the Alligator Ready Set Fastener System installed on one belt end, repeat the same installation steps on the other belt end. Once installation on both belt ends is complete, join both ends of the belt together and insert the hinge pin, threading it through the fastener loops. Finally, take a belt nipper and carefully notch only the trailing edges of the belt. If a retaining washer is used to restrict side-to-side -side travel of the hinge pin, 
crimp the washer with the pliers, and your splice installation is complete. For more information on alligator staple fastener installation, go to www.flexco.com or contact your authorized Flexco distributor.